Hello students. We already learned about electricity in our previous video. In our today's video, we will learn about concept of electric charge. Electric charge or charge in short is the basic physical property of matter that causes objects to experience an electric force when kept in an electric field. All matter is made up of atoms which in turn are made up of elementary particles called electrons, protons and neutrons. Protons have positive charge and are present in the nucleus. Electrons have negative charge and are present around the nucleus in orbits. Neutrons have zero charge and are neutral. Neutrons are present in nucleus along with protons. We know that opposite charges attract each other and like charges repel each other. We also know that each atom has an equal number of protons and electrons which have an equal but opposite charge. Hence the total charge on an atom will always be zero. Most things that we see around us are electrically neutral as they have an equal number of protons and electrons. So they don't exert a force on each other. However, when we rub two objects against each other, electrons are transferred from the surface of one object to the other surface due to friction. Thus one of the surfaces acquires electrons from the other. The surface acquiring the electrons get a negative charge and the surface losing the electrons gets a net positive charge. The outcome of this imbalance of charges on both the surfaces is called static electricity. If an object possesses an electric charge, it is said to be electrified or charged. When it has no charge, it is said to be electrically neutral. Now let us learn how electric charge is measured. The SI unit of electric charge is Coulomb. It is denoted by the symbol capital C. The word Coulomb is named after the French physicist Charles Coulomb, who found that the electrostatic force exists between two electrically charged particles. The force exerted here is called electrostatic force. Students, you know that charges on electrons and protons are equal in value but opposite in nature. That is, proton has positive charge, represent as E plus, and an electron has a negative charge, represent as E minus. The fundamental charge on an electron is numerically a very tiny value, equal to 0 0.18 times 0 0.169 Coulomb. This value is represented in scientific notation as 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 Coulomb. Remember students that total charge has to be an integral multiple of this fundamental unit of charge. That is Q equal to N E. Here N is the integer. This implies that N cannot be in fraction or decimals. It is always an integer. Now a question may be arise in our mind. How many electrons are there in one coulomb of charge? Let us answer this question. We know that total charge Q is equal to N E where n is the total number of electrons and e is the fundamental charge on one electron. For a body with charge q, q equal to n e. And by rearranging this formula, we get number of electrons that is n equal to q upon e. Now we know that charge on one electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Therefore, number of electrons in one coulomb is equal to 1 upon 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 which gives us value 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. Now students, recall, electrons on the surface of an object can sometimes be removed by rubbing. Static charge can be built up when two insulating materials are rubbed together, such as when we rub our foot on carpet during winters. Friction between the materials causes electrons to be transferred from one surface to the other. One material ends up with more electrons, so it now has an overall negative charge. While the other material ends up with the fewer electrons, so it now has an overall positive charge. Students, you already know, the imbalance of charges on surface of material is called static electricity. If these charges are made to flow in a particular direction inside a conductor, it is called as electric current. In our next video, we will learn what is electric current.